Kelsey. This is my channel, The Fancy Hat Lady Reads. I am wearing one of my fancy booktube hats, and today I'm bringing you another booktube SFF babbles video. The booktube SFF babbles, if you don't know, are science fiction and fantasy video prompts associated with the booktube SFF awards. I will link the Goodreads group down below in case you want to find out more about those. Anyone can join in with these video prompts and that is what I am doing today because the current theme from the 18th of March until the end of this month is books that you wish were adapted for screen. I have sort of sorted this list by type of adaptation that I would like to see. Um, so I am going to start with things that I would like to see adapted as movies. Now there are a lot of reasons for sci-fi and fantasy fans to want their favorite books and series adapted as miniseries or TV series because there tend to be a lot of details in things with complex world building that get left out of film adaptations, but I think it would be really great to get more sci-fi and fantasy novellas adapted as movies, because those books are of a length to begin with where you wouldn't have to necessarily make a whole ton of big important cuts. And I specifically think that the Murderbot Diaries series by Martha Wells would make a great little movie franchise for books for movies. These are much more action-packed than what I normally gravitate towards in terms of my reading, so I think that would translate well um, to film. And this series is quite episodic. Each book in it is really um, a sort of self-contained adventure that ties into a larger character arc for Murderbot. I think there would definitely be some artistic challenges in choosing how to portray Murderbot's experience of the world, but I think this could have such a die-hard little fan following as a movie franchise, and I want to be part of that fan following. Also, because Murderbot is such a fan of, like, media, my little meta brain really wants Murderbot to be adapted into media, and I also want to, like, see, like, scenes within scenes of The Rise and Fall of Sanctuary Moon, which is the TV show that Murderbot loves. That's just something I kind of want. The other things that I would like to see adapted as movies are standalone novels. And I think we are sort of going in order of like less and less likely to ever happen because no one else actually wants this. Um, but there's a certain type of film that I would really like to see more of, a certain type of fantasy film. And I sort of think of it as like the fairy tale fantasy film because like the movies that are doing it right now like on a big budget are like pretty much only the um, Disney live action remakes of princess films. But I don't think that the things that I like about this movie are necessarily exclusive to fairy tales themselves, um, but a sort of fantasy storytelling aesthetic where it can be historical-ish, but you don't necessarily have to be tied to actual history, where you can sort of accept that magic is of course a thing, but you don't need to get detailed about the world building. Like that sort of fairy tale-ish movie, and that is the sort of adaptation that I would really like for um, a lesser-known fantasy classic, which is Lud in the Mist by Hope Mirrlees. This is a book that I read in December, so I haven't wrapped it up yet. But this was published in 1926, and it feels very Fantasy of Manners-ish, and it has this setting that is this fictional country that borders on fairy. There are these kind of quirky, eccentric characters, um, and there's a sort of mystery storyline. And I think it would be a great candidate for that type of film treatment. I think that a film adaptation of this would also bring more like public attention to this book as a classic, which I think it deserves. And also this is one where I would not be a purist. I would be fine with any sorts of plot changes that needed to be made to make it a good film 
uh, for today's audiences. It's more that I'm imagining a type of movie that I would want to watch that this could conceivably be the source material for. And then, sort of in the far, far reaches of this is totally implausible, it would probably never happen, certainly not how I'm imagining it, is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. This is, again, a standalone novel, um, and it is young adult magical realism-ish. And that just isn't the type of young adult novel that seems to ever get film adaptations. But I think there would really be potential there if someone wanted to try it. While I was reading this book, I was sort of seeing it very cinematically in my mind because there's all of this lush, gorgeous imagery with this setting that's supposedly very, very beautiful with all of these flowers. I would also love to see all of these characters on screen. Um, this is basically about five queer Latina girls um, and a couple of their love interests. Um, and Cynical me says that that cast of characters is part of the reason that this would never happen. I am bitter and cynical about the movie industry in that way. But it would just be so great if it did. Now in terms of an actual, like, novel series that I think would make a great television show, I have actually said this before, so if you saw, like, my reviews of these books, it won't surprise you. But I think that the Amberlo Dossier series by Lara Elena Donnelly would make a great television show. The only reason that I feel like it will never happen is that not enough people are reading these books. But I think that the politics of these books would feel so relevant on television right now. I think that like the mid-20th century inspired setting would be so much fun, like, design-wise. And it would get to have musical numbers, because these books focus on some characters who are performers. I also think this is one of those instances where there is a lot in the books that could be expanded upon to make it a longer television series than just the books are. The third book is not actually out yet, it comes out next month, but I gather that each of these books does have a significant span of time between them. There's also a lot in terms of the politics um, and intrigue of this world that happens off screen, and a lot of side characters whose stories could definitely be developed further. And the whole, like, espionage and resistance thing um, would just be such, like, edge of your seat, um, see what comes next, twist and turn type of thing that I would love to binge watch. Now for a book that I would like to see adapted more as a miniseries, I keep thinking about The Queens of Innes Lear by Tessa Grattan, which is a standalone high fantasy King Lear retelling. Now what I kind of really want for this is like a miniseries done in like the BBC Hollow Crown Shakespeare style, but like this version with all of the high fantasy stuff as opposed to like the actual Shakespeare. I think this would be great for like a miniseries adaptation because there are lots of different plot threads in it and I think that's just a structure that would work very well. It's a pretty big cast of characters that are all very significant. As a book this is pretty slow moving, it has a lot of flashbacks, um, but I don't necessarily think that would make it feel as slow on screen. Screen, I just think it would be incredibly epic. But then last on this list, I kind of wanted to talk about the fact that I've been sort of watching quite a bit of animated television lately. It's sort of been what I've been in the mood for, and I've had a really hard time for quite a while getting into much of anything else. And so I wanted to pick something that, again, I don't think this will ever happen because it's too far under the radar, but I think that this would make a great animated television series, and that is the webcomic slash graphic novel Digger by Ursula Vernon. This is an anthropomorphic animal uh, fantasy quest story, and there is a tone to this that I think I can really 
envision as like an animated series. It has a lot of humor and a lot of dialogue that is very, very funny. Um, a lot of characters that are very, very funny. But it also has these very deep mythological themes and philosophical ideas. And I think that's a balance that I really like to see in animated television. I also think this is kind of just the right amount of subject matter for like three seasons of a show. Like, this is very, very chunky and there's quite a lot of story here. And I think it's really just the right amount of story for something that is contained in terms of, you know, it has a planned beginning, middle, and end from the beginning, but would also definitely be a longer form of storytelling. So that's my list of sci-fi and fantasy books that I would like to see adapted for the screen full of mostly things that will definitely absolutely never happen, um, but a girl can dream, right? Anyhow, let me know what you think of my picks. Let me know if there's something that you are dying for an on-screen adaptation of. Um, I hope you're having a nice day. That is all. Bye for now. <laughs>